Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are going to talk about subject compliments. It is going to get a little complicated, so you are definitely going to write all of this down. If you would like to follow along, this is all found on page 50 in your textbook. First, we need to define compliments, because we have multiple kinds of compliments. For example, if I were to say, Mrs. Walters, my, those are nice shoes. We all know I do have a lot of shoes. But they are very nice. But that's not the kind of compliments that we are talking about. What we are really talking about are these kind of compliments. Well, Mrs. Walters, that purse really compliments those shoes. That's why I have a lot. They have to go with the outfit. Because the type of compliments that we are talking about are compliments that go together or complete something else. So we are going to talk about compliments that complete different parts of a sentence. Grammatical compliments, then, are words that complete the meaning or the action of the verb. So they could be predicate adjectives, predicate nominatives, direct or indirect objects. Today, we're going to deal with just the first two. If we look at a predicate adjective, they are words that will always be adjectives, and they will be words that are always in the predicate of the sentence. That means they'll be attached to the simple verb in the sentence. However, these adjectives that are in the end of the sentence will actually be describing the subject of the sentence. The biggest key for you to understand here is that they always follow a linking verb. Always follow a linking verb. So for example, we have Mr. Hepworth's beautiful cat, Twiggy. Mr. Hepworth's cat is fluffy. We first need to find the verb in the sentence. The verb is is. That is a linking verb, so we know we can have a predicate adjective following it. The word fluffy completes the sentence, and it describes, it's an adjective, and it describes the word cat. So it describes a word in front of the verb. The second sentence reads like this. Mrs. Walter's baby is pudgy, but don't tell her I said so. <laughs> so in this sentence, we also look for the verb, and we see the word is, is, is still a linking verb. The word pudgy is an adjective, and we see that it is describing the subject, which is the word baby. Now, predicate nominatives are similar. Nominative is a big word. Don't be afraid of it. It is just a word that is a fancy word for noun. So a predicate nominative, instead of being an adjective, is a noun. Nam, noun. It's also found in the predicate of the sentence, so the part by the verb, and it too will talk about the subject. But instead of describing, because that's what adjectives do, nominatives will rename. It too will always only come after a linking verb. So let's look at an example. Mrs. Walter's daughter is Caroline. We see the linking verb is, and now we have a noun that follows it. Caroline is the name of a person, a noun. But it's renaming the subject daughter. So it is a predicate nominative. The second sentence reads like this. Seriously, who wrote these sentences? Mr. Hepworth's imaginary friend is a vampire. Really? In this instance, is is still a linking verb. Vampire is a noun in the predicate. It is renaming the subject, which in this case is the word friend. A few more well-written examples. Mr. Hepworth can be funny sometimes. Can be is my verb. Be is a linking verb. Funny is the one word that would complete the sentence if I had to boil it down to one. So funny is an adjective. That would be a predicate adjective. It's renaming Hepworth. Mrs. Walters is my English teacher. I see the verb is, which is still a linking verb. And teacher is the one word that would be most important to finish the sentence. Teacher is a noun. So that is a predicate nominative, renaming Walters. The next sentence reads like this. It's kind of self-explanatory. Mrs. Walters and Mr. Hepworth are dorks. Now, just because we have a compound subject does not change the fact that we still have that we still have a linking verb, in this case the word are. Dorks, I don't know, is dork an adjective or a noun? It's a 
thing. It's a thing. I will go with things. Okay, so we're going to call this a noun. In this case, dorks is renaming both Mrs. Walters and Mr. Hepworth, but let's be honest here, it really renames me. Mrs. Walters is just being nice. Yeah, she's super cool. That's, That's what it is. The last sentence reads like this. English teachers are wonderful, usually. In this case, we have the word are. There's our linking verb. Wonderful is an adjective, and it quite obviously describes English teachers. Sometimes Mr. Hepworth says English English teachers are trolls. We're going to ignore Mr. Hepworth and just focus on what he says. English teachers are trolls. Are is my linking verb. Trolls is the one word that completes his thought, and trolls, again, are people just like dorks. So these are predicate nominatives, renaming teachers. Pretty easy. Just make sure you find those linking verbs first. Ta-da!